As we reach the end of this session, can I express on behalf of the Fianna Fáil party our sincere thanks to the staff of the House for their dedication and commitment throughout this session. It clearly has been a particularly challenging time for them and their families, and I think they deserve our good wishes uh, as they attempt uh, to have some, some time off from here. Uh, and to the media, too, uh, who have had to endure our antiquated and our outdated method of doing business uh, over the past session, I want to extend to them and to the rest of the members of the press gallery uh, our good wishes uh, as they head for their summer break. And to you, Count Corlett, to thank you sincerely on behalf of our party uh, for the way in which you have cooperated and worked with us uh, in our effort to do our business here. Tarnishta, it's interesting, <laughs> it's interesting, Tarnishta, uh, that the Taoiseach has announced that he has seen the light and the government are going to create jobs. They're going to focus on jobs for the time ahead. A new focus, we're told, on jobs. Tarnishta, we've heard this many times over the past two and a half years, and there has been little by way uh, of real effort, or uh, I would argue, real exercise uh, in bringing that to fruition. He tells the Irish Independent today that the government plans to create 75,000 jobs by taking people off the dole. Look, I'm all for giving people hope, but not on the back of false promises. It would seem that instead of job creation, or indeed jobs being created, that people will have to realise that work actually pays. That's a rather interesting concept that the Taoiseach has come up with there. To me, anyway, Tarnishta, there's more than a hint uh, that uh, there is a belief that people are choosing to stay on social protection rather than seeking work or rather than going out to work. Now, whatever that contention might have held during the Celtic Tiger or during better times, I certainly see no indication out there that the jobs are being left vacant, that people are failing to take up employment and that they're finding it much easier uh, on social welfare. But maybe the Labour Party and, and Fine Gael together have some interesting insights and maybe you'll allude to them later. Uh, the government's action plan for jobs was announced 18 months ago, as you know, Thornishta, and it has been re-announced quite a few times since. That plan was due to create 100,000 jobs by 2016. So, Thornishta, how credible is the commitment given in the previous promises that the government have made on job creation that unfortunately have not come to fruition? How credible can today's announcement be when you really haven't achieved the targets that you have set out? Count uh, Corla, we had New Era, a Fine Gael document some time ago that was due to create 100,000 jobs. Where has that gone? To the best of my knowledge, the only job that has been created out of New Era is the uh, minister uh, from, from, from County Louth, a junior minister's position. Thank you, Deputy. So there's, a, there's quite a, a bit to go in relation to that. This announcement, in my view, is even more extraordinary given that despite Fianna Fáil Sorry. calling over a year and a half ago for measures to improve employment in the economy, well, including the use of the pension reserve fund, that it has been completely ignored by this government until such time as we were back in recession. Thank you. We're over time, so Deputy. Sorry. He's overspun. Well, Tom Corla, if, if, the, the chorus, the, I know, yeah, yeah, the chorus from the Labour Party time. are clearly upset the... by the facts being put before them. Yeah, so if they gave me an opportunity to make the points that I, have, that I want to make to the Tarnish, then I wouldn't have to disrupt them. No, but you're, you're over time. That's no, the unfortunate but, thing but, but yet. Well then, if, if I could then conclude, yeah. uh, Tarnish, the economy is bouncing along the bottom, despite what the Minister for Finance has said that it was about to take off like a rocket. Yeah. So can you tell us how you intend to create these 75,000 jobs, Will they, and tell us how exactly they'll be created, and how you intend to take people off social protection and put them into employment? Tarnish, well, first of all, I want to uh, join with uh, Deputy Dooley in expressing Thanks to you, Cahirla, uh, Cancorla, to the um, staff of the House, indeed to uh, everybody who works here, and, uh, including uh, the media, for what has been uh, a very long uh, session since, uh, uh, since Easter, and I think what has also been uh, a very productive uh, session. Um, I'm very glad that uh, Deputy Dooley has raised the issue of employment with me this morning. In the three years before the general election, before this government was formed, 250,000 jobs were lost in the Irish economy under your watch. It's over 70,000, 80,000 jobs, 80,000 jobs a year over, uh, over a three-year period. We are now in a situation where that is turning. Uh, jobs in the private sector are now being created at a rate of about 2,000 per month. The number of people who are in employment has increased for the first time since 2008. 
the number of people on the live register is declining. But there is a lot more, there is a lot more that needs to be done because getting people back to work and getting people into employment uh, is, uh, the, is the cornerstone of getting the economy uh, to recover. That is the primary focus of this government. We've had, uh, we all know, the kind of targets, for example, that have dominated political and economic discussion in this country uh, over the past number of years, the targets that have to be met in terms of the, uh, the Troika and so on. We are uh, in a position where we're about to exit uh, from that programme. As a country, I believe that we need to set ourselves a new target, and I believe that that target has to be the target of full employment. That's what we need to do, to get employment for people who have lost jobs during the recession, people, young people who are coming out of, out of schools and colleges and who can't get work, and indeed employment for people who have had to emigrate and who would like to have the opportunity of returning. And that is why we have adopted a range of measures to address the employment crisis. That's why we're having a special meeting of the Cabinet today on the, uh, on the jobs crisis. That's why we brought forward the Jobs Action Plan. That's why we brought forward the Pathways to Work uh, by Minister Burton. That is why Minister Howland uh, introduced a stimulus package last year. That is why we decided to establish a strategic investment fund in order to provide funding that will stimulate growth uh, in, uh, in, in our economy. That is why, for example, we got agreement at European level on the youth guarantee and provided funding for it in order to address the problem of youth unemployment. Every single day, this government is working at initiatives to get people back to work, to get growth in our economy, to get increased investment so that jobs uh, are created, and to get increased confidence in our, in our domestic uh, economy. Nobody has ever argued that that was going to be easy, that there was going to be a single silver bullet solution to unemployment. It is a range of measures which are joined up, and for the first time, joined up right across government through the action plan uh, on jobs where every government department is working and every state agency is working in a coordinated way to do the one thing that I believe that people in this country need most, and that is to get increased employment and increased opportunities for the people who don't have them. And I believe that every member of this House should support the government's efforts in that regard. Thank you. Deputy Dooley, one minute. Thank you. Well, Tarnish, uh, your, your indignation is welcome. <laughs> Uh, and if I was to go back over the record of the doll when you stood over there, I'm sure it was the same script that you repeated on a weekly basis. The only difference now is that you're there, Tanishta. You're there for the past two and a half years. And the record, unfortunately, I need no history lesson from you, thank you very much. So would you just keep to yourself for a minute and, and, and work out where you're going on your holidays. So, 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 so Tanishta, I need no history lesson about what happened. You will be aware that there was an election in the meantime. You were elected on the basis of commitments that you made and that Fine Gael made in relation to the jobs that you intended to create. The facts of the matter are that they're not there. You've given interesting uh, employment figures that seem to gloss over the facts. Well, if you, if you tease through them, you'll find that a lot of full-time jobs have now moved to part-time jobs. Labour activation has come into play in terms of taking people off the live register number. People have immigrated. So what you believe to be this increase of 2,000 jobs a week is well, a farce when you, when, when, you, when, you tease, when you tease through it. Now, uh, if you then want to accept, Tarnishta, that you have announced the same thing on three, four or five occasions, and then there is nothing else, nothing else that you have achieved in the meantime, other than jobs announcements. Well, Tarnishta, there's a big difference Question, please, between then. jobs announcements and the actual coming to fruition of those jobs. I know all about it. I come from a county that has often been subject uh, question, to hundreds please, of Thank thousands you. of jobs over a period of time that were announced that never actually come to fruition because those are the decisions taken. So then we'll go back to the base. No, we won't go back, Deputy. You're going nowhere. You're asking a supplementary question. You're now three minutes over your time. Thank you. Can you, can you, can you tell us, Tarnishta, two simple follow-up questions. How you intend to demonstrate that work can actually pay. Thank you. This is what the Taoiseach has said today, that he's going to demonstrate Thank that you work very much. can actually pay. And the other one then is, how are you going to engage differently with the unemployed to try and convince them 
to go out and find a job. Thank you. In an environment where you have failed to create the conditions to create employment, you only have to look. Deputy, would you please? Deputy, would you resume your seat, please? They are unable to get the appropriate level of finance from the financial institutions to create the jobs. They're just getting a trickle. You only have to talk to the small to medium enterprises Deputy, to appreciate When I ask you to stop, would you please stop? And don't totally ignore the chair. No, no, you're, you're way over time. I was very fair to you. Deputy, uh, thank you. Deputy Dooley, you do need a history lesson. Fianna Foyle wrecked this country's economy. And in the three years, in the three years before the people rightly booted you out of office, you, you presided over the loss of 250,000 jobs in this economy. No government, no government in this country, no government, no government, no government in this country ever, and to my knowledge, no government in modern times in Europe or in any other developed country has presided over such a loss of employment in their own economy. It was a disgraceful record, and our job has been to turn that around. And we are turning it, and we are turning it, and we are turning it around. We are turning it around. For the first time, for the first time since 2008, the numbers of people at work in our economy is increased. The, the IDA had its best year in 10 years last year. Enterprise Ireland has had a record year in terms of its exports, all of it sus sustaining and supporting and building and building jobs in this country. And frankly, I find your attitude to people who are unemployed patronising and unacceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People you. who are out of work, Deputy Dooley, Deputy Dooley, people who are out of work know very well that they will be better off in work and earning and earning a living. And that's what they want to do. And that's what they expect government to work on to create and to help create to help to help create the, the jobs uh, the jobs that they need. Thank you. And unlike your government, this government is not satisfied to leave people who are out of work simply sitting idle uh, and in a position where they don't develop their skills in order to improve their opportunities of getting back to work. And that is why we have introduced the pathways to work which will enable people to identify what they need in order to get back into employment, to equip themselves better, to take up employment opportunities when they, when they become available in a world where the world of work is changing. And that is why, for example, we have reformed the education and training system, the work that, uh, that Minister Quinn is doing in the reform uh, and the establishment uh, of SOLAS and the development of education and training means the introduction of job bridge, the introduction of a range of measures that will assist people who are out of work to either get uh, education, training, work, work experience, whatever it takes in order to get them back uh, into, the, uh, into the workforce. So this requires two, two parts to the equation. Thank you. One is to do what is necessary in order to generate the, the jobs that will be there for people, and secondly, to equip the people who are out of work so that we'll be in a position to take up those employment opportunities when they become available. Thank you.